Chase Claypool, tell me about what you've learned during your rookie season in the National Football League that you've brought with you into 2021. Yeah, so I think the biggest learning experience that I had during the 2020 season was how to take care of your body throughout the season. I think this time last year, I was a lot more sore for some reason. Um, and this year, 2021, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I just feel more confident about how my body feels. And yeah, so I think that's a big thing. Defenses around the NFL know a lot more about you this time around. Are, are they playing you differently? Are they defending you differently than they did a year ago? Yeah, I think towards the second half of last year, they rolled the safety over more. And they're doing that at the beginning of this year, uh, just clouding the coverage a little bit, um, almost like a double clean. But, uh, yeah, so I think we're just going to game plan around that throughout the season. Being a, a big body receiver, how do you try to use your size to your advantage? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a couple of techniques that you can use. You can, um, a lot of the shifty quick guys, they use their feet as a tool. Uh, I try to use kind of like my whole body in terms of boxing people out on uh, a jump ball situation or blocking. Uh, if I can block some hard one play, maybe, you know, they'll be worried about me doing the same thing next play and I can run by them, so. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. How much do you like that jump ball situation that you describe? Uh, yeah, I love the jump ball situation. Uh, we got to definitely get a couple this year. Uh, we've been we've been mixing it up in the red zone. Uh, I guess keeping them guessing, but hopefully we get a couple red uh, jump balls in the red zone coming soon. Uh, tell me what the thing that surprises you most uh, about being an NFL player. Um, I think the thing that surprised me most is, I guess, like, not surprising, but more just a realization that, you know, your whole job is football, and that's, like, it. You know, you go to work, and then when you're done with work, that you're done. So, outside of that time, like, what are you doing to get better at football? It's a crazy thought that football is their job. Uh, last Sunday's game against Green Bay, you had to miss because of a hamstring injury. Uh, how tough is it for you to watch a game with your team playing? Yeah, it's super tough because, like I said earlier, like doing all the little things to uh, take care of my body and make sure I'm ready. And then obviously, you know, you tweak your hammy just a little bit to where, you know, you're not 100% ready to go for the game. And I had to watch the game from my living room. Um, so that was weird, watching on TV and hearing the commentators and, um, some of the stuff you don't see when you're on the field was definitely, definitely weird, but hopefully I never have to do it again. You are uh, featured in an upcoming documentary on TSN called Northern Ties with fellow Canadian NFL players Javon Holland and Chuba Hubbard. I, I want you to tell me, what does it mean to you to be part of this new wave of Canadians in the National Football League? Yeah, I think it's huge. I think it gives a lot of young kids hope to make it. Um, maybe, you know, not everyone's going to make it to the NFL, but at least that's their dream. Um, you know, my dream wasn't even to make it in the NFL when I was younger because I had no one to look up to. Uh, my dream was to make it to the CFL because I looked up to a couple of players in the CFL. And I think that um, maybe if I could have my goals set to NFL and if I fall short and then to CFL, then, you know, dreams still come true that way. Chase Claypool, thank you so much for your time today. Good luck the rest of this season. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.